Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 2nd, 2020. We're going to get into it. Oh yes, <laughs> we're going to get into it. But before we do, if you want me to be the one to tune into your energy and reflect back what you need to know right now, especially as we go into 2021, I will be filming and editing the, of the signs for the 2021 overviews, but those are general readings uh, and I will need a little bit of time to get those done. So They'll take a long time to edit. But if you want a personal reading, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Of course, I still have the courses on angels, spiritual topics, meditations, all over at gumroad.com. And a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and to all of you who like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate it. I really do. And again, thank you guys so much for your beautiful, supportive comments. They really do mean the world to me. Big change, big change coming. So it's interesting to me, you know, as I was watching, we're getting closer now to this uh, election in the US and everybody was talking about it. And I just felt this sense of uh, buzzy, you, you hear me talk about this all the time, this buzzy kind of um, anxious kind of energy. And I thought that was interesting because we, we get this anxious energy right before we have some major crack or some breakthrough or something along those lines. Now, what I feel and what I have been hearing, and when I say hearing, it's not like, you know, these voices are coming at me or whatever. <laughs> it's guidance through my, my inner voice. So, you know, it's so to speak, I'm hearing, okay? And maybe that's a topic for another day. Clear audience is, is an, you know, there are some distinctions there, okay? But what I was feeling and, and sort of hearing was no one wins. No one wins. If you're sitting there and you think that the angels, what we call angels, again, who knows? One day we're going to all break open and we'll figure out, oh, it was actually this, but we had these you know, terms for it or whatever. That's coming. <laughs> That's coming. But, you know, they're not going to be concerned with something like what politician wins. People are going to argue that because they are very human. And <laughs> in our human brains, we think that, you know, the way we see things is the way it works throughout the universe. Uh, you know, the way we experience time, for example, that's how it is in the entire universe. We understand that that's not true. Time is not actually linear. Uh, you know, the way we perceive anything is how any being in the universe, whatever you believe, right, is, is having the same experience we are. That's part of that ego consciousness, okay, where if that's how I see it, that's how it's just done, you know, and any other perspective is not valuable. So the angels are always much more concerned about our spiritual growth, opening our hearts, our expanded awareness, our expanded consciousness, and making sure we're all right and making sure we're staying on course. No one wins when we get divided. No one wins when we think that that's real power. Now I know, you know, there's the surface level way of looking at things. Sure, these are going to be, um, it's going to be a policy maker, you know, all those things, and it could affect our day-to-day -day lives. Of course, I know a lot of you out there be like, Michelle, our rights, okay? Our rights, are you kidding me? This is incredibly important. This is how I live. You know, that could be very much threatened. And I'm not trying to glaze over that, okay? But I'm saying for as far as the message is coming through here, there is a big call to make sure, you hear me say this all the time, to observe, but don't get invested. Observe, but don't get invested. Turnabouts. The things, lots of shakeups, lots of, wait, what? And I could just see everybody, you know, kind of getting fed up and going, you know what? Ugh. You know, I'm going to go away until this is all over. <laughs> right? like, let me know when it's done, right? Kind of thing. So I would definitely say, make sure you are staying peaceful as much as you can. You know, I'm not about sidestepping. I'm not saying just pretend like nothing's happening. Don't bury your head in the sand. None of that. We need to stay calm and we need to stick together. 
and that doesn't have anything to do with parties. It has to do with souls, okay? If you start to feel yourself getting angry, or even on the other side of things, you know, whoever the victor is, someone might say, yes, you know, now it's gonna be sunshine and rainbows. It never is. It never is. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I did. No, but <laughs> but we always we always get this, um, you know, sort of rose colored glasses, like, you know, because the person I wanted in office is there, you know, it's going to be great. We're learning something on a very deep level here. And it is very much about taking our power back and not allowing us to get dragged in to something that will lower our frequency. Okay, now as I say that, I don't mean, let's just pretend like we're above it all, blah, blah, blah. It's not authentic, it's not authentic, okay? So <laughs> there's gonna be this part of you that is observing, seeing what's going on out there, and knowing, like, okay, okay, this is, just know that this must come to pass. Whatever it is, this must come to pass. Because everything that's occurring right now, it's breaking us open making us look at ourselves, which we don't do on our own, do we? No, it's only when we are made to be uncomfortable. No one wins. Turnabouts, shocking news, surprises, confusion, what? If you start to feel your heart pounding you know, you're starting to get stressed. You're starting to only focus on that. If you start to get obsessed, be careful. Don't get dragged into it. And that's what I'm here to bring you. Now, everybody out there, all these beautiful sp uh, spiritual practitioners out there, you know, they're bringing forward what they are meant to bring forward, right? They're, they're bringing to you uh, another aspect of it, I suppose. But what I'm supposed to be delivering to you today is a reminder that you have to be a carrier of light, of peace, be authentic. That means if you are upset, it's okay. It's okay. Do I think I know who's gonna win? I think I know who's going to be the supposed winner. And then there's someone who's secondary there who makes a mistake it's okay it doesn't it doesn't like affect anything too drastically but something else comes in and there's massive change and that's what I want to say around this there's massive change it's imperative that we stay in alignment centered focused okay and this is what I'm feeling too even if on the surface it feels like no, Michelle, you don't understand. Like, this would be devastating to me because of how I live if this person won or that person won, you know, what have you. Remember, that's still on the surface. We can make anything happen we want, okay? And that goes for everybody across the world. When we put all of our focus into just winning and being right, we lose. No one wins. In other news, um, <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to be going through, I, I just heard parental guidance. And what I, I feel like that means is that you're, a lot of people are going to be going through massive, massive changes, massive shifts. I know a lot of you have reached out to me and said that you have been laid off from your jobs and you know things like that. And don't worry, you're gonna be all right. If, if something major happened to you like that, it's just opening something else up, okay? So be ready. Things are not going to be steady. And if we get angry at that every time it's not steady, we're just going to keep staying behind. And we're just going to uh, slow our progress. Keep the peace. There's a better way. There is a better way to have a more harmonious, cooperative existence with one another. So many of us have been hurt on a deep level that we don't even trust one another anymore. And as I've always said, we live in a very narcissistic world. 
Yes, we do. And so people are always trying to outdo one another, diminish one another, manipulate. I've had some people coming at me trying to manipulate <laughs> around things. So, you know, just be aware of all of that. This isn't to inspire this idea of, that's right, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to pay attention. I'm not even going to watch it. I'm not even going to watch. You don't have to watch it. But please don't act like you're above it all. Okay, please don't. This is a major splitting. And um, as far as what happens, the fortune telling part of this, have we not realized that it's us? We are the ones who are creating the outcomes. So what do you want? I know I want to walk down the street and have freedom. I want to say hello to somebody and be free to be friendly. And maybe feel a little of that coming back because people are genuinely happy to be around one another. Does that have to do with politics? Probably not. <laughs> now I know, I know there is a surface level importance here, of course. But what you need to hear right now is that you can't hang on. You can't hang on. It's going to be ripped out of our hands, whatever it is, our way of life as we've known it. Um, you know, our safe, you know, comfortable place, our comfort zone. We've gotten to a place where we're just sort of spinning in the same spot and we're not progressing. And so we're being shoved out into another existence. And that might be hard for a lot of people. People might act out. People are going to act out. There's gonna be so much anger. There's gonna be a lot of fighting and saying, no, 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 it's not real. I can't, I can't. And there's gonna be so many different areas where this is gonna be happening, different perspectives. And in addition to that, there are gonna be other really major things to contend with. But can it smooth out? Absolutely. Will it? Sure. But we are creating that outcome. And that's the most important thing to hang on to right now. Let's get onto the cards. All right, so let's see what we have here. Expect big revelations, expect things to be, we've been saying this forever. I feel kind of silly even repeating it over and over and over again, <laughs> but it's big revelations and um, people finally coming together at some point, at some point, this isn't gonna be maybe just this week, um, but people coming together and saying, no, we need things to be different. There's going to be a discovery of our actual purpose here. And it's not what we thought. So that's going to be coming about. Again, that's in a general sense. If you want me, like I said in the beginning, if you want me to tune in for you, reach out, angelsouls444.com. Don't let your past hold you back. South Node, the old way of approaching things. Don't hang on to the past. Don't hang on to what you think you know. Don't hang on to um, your own definition of yourself. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been going through that a lot recently where I'm like, God, I'm, I'm not the same person I was when I started Angel Souls. I, I feel like I've evolved in a big way <laughs> and I'm not so afraid of, you know, getting out there and saying what I got to say and all of that. So, you know, I, I feel like that's just one small example of what we're going to be experiencing this week where don't just hang on to the old way because someone came along and said, this is how life works and you accepted it and you've never asked any further questions. It's not gonna work. Banking systems, money systems, all of it's changing. Not this week, <laughs> but you know, eventually, okay? All right, let's get another card. One more shuffle, please, okay. We have nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon, the turnabout. So whoever is announced, if you're really, if you're like, Michelle, I can't believe you're you know, so stuck on the election. Listen, I, when I sit down, I tune into what I feel is coming to me. And right now there's a collective energy that wants to talk about this. Okay. So there we are. 
nothing is yet set in stone. So you could take that on a personal level. If you don't like how things are going, it's all right. And also this says, don't get too cocky. Don't get too cocky and don't think that everything is just going to magically come together without you learning a few lessons and making an effort, right? So it's about balancing that. But we're talking about the events of the week. Who is announced as the winner? That may not stick where there might be some question around it. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. There's more to be revealed. There's more to be revealed. <laughs> you guys don't even know what's coming. I don't really know either. I just feel the energy of it. And I think I kind of like, mm, like uh, talk about expansion, <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> going beyond the boundaries. Uh, the answers you need are coming. So there will be some communication coming. There will be something. I feel like there's something that sort of interrupts the process or, and it's beyond politics. It's like, <laughs> boy, talk about like, I don't want to say it's a common enemy. It's a, uh, like a common shock. It, it, it's one of those things you ever see like two people, they're, they're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting. And then something like blows up in the background and suddenly they're grabbing onto each other. Like, what was that? Right. That, not literally, hopefully not literally, but, you know, that's sort of what's going on here. Like, there's this huge thing that gets revealed, perhaps, soon. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. So, <laughs> keep going. Keep going. And this is spiritual work. This is finding your peace. And again, you know, some, I have people who watch me and, and you don't believe in this stuff and that's cool. Hey, we, welcome. You know, I'm glad you're here, but if you're here to troll, mm. uh, but I, I, I think some people just watch because they have a curiosity and that's cool. And I understand that some of the language we use sounds really stupid if you don't believe in this stuff or sounds kind of crazy again, if you don't believe in this stuff, but it's just the language that we have. Okay. So when we talk about, I don't know why I feel that, I have a lot of people watching this week that you're not really into this stuff. Again, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you to everybody for being here. And I do apologize. I, I feel like I'm so inarticulate today. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, <laughs> welcome. Anyway, so your hard work is paying off. So again, this is more of that focusing on your heart space, connecting the mind and the heart. And we're about to realize this isn't it. This right here. This isn't the whole story. We're about to get another piece of the story. Cool. All right. I do have the little cabochon sitting here next to me. All right. So let's get the color card as well. And then I can pull some cabochons as well. Upheaval. Um, Okay, so there's like a choice here and then I feel like our hearts kind of get cracked open. Something, there's something around our hearts breaking and being cracked open. But there's a result that comes from that. Hopefully it's not violent, you guys. Please don't, not, not you. Why am I talking to you about it? Like y'all ain't doing it. I know, <laughs> but like if anybody happens to stumble across this video and you are somebody who gets that angry, or you want to be manipulative, you want to play games with people or whatever. Um, let's not, okay, let's just be good to one another. But I feel like we're starting to go this direction and then there's more information. There's a cracking, our hearts are kind of broken. And then there's other things in the background going on. And then we kind of go, now we know what we need to do. You know what, let's cut the nonsense. Let's stop fighting each other. Let's stop being at each other's throats. There is something bigger that we need to work on together. So this idea of cooperation and communication and, and that whole idea of your hard work is paying off, that has to do with a spiritual discovery. And it's personal first because that's how our brains work. And then we look at one another and it's like rediscovering the beauty in other human beings, which I think a lot of us have lost, again, through a very abusive world um, a manipulative, narcissistic world, but we can regain that now. So we have aqua, experience, peace, and calm. The number is 33. We are being guided. There's a lot of higher wisdom going on here and a lot of asking us to, again, understand our 
truer nature. Not that this isn't what we're experiencing right now, but there is a truer nature. And this does have to do with finding your peace and calm, no matter what's going on, tapping into the higher wisdom. Again, not like as if you're <laughs> above it all and nothing bothers you. Let's not be fake about it. Okay, so there's that. Let's pull a cabochon. Cabochon, cabochon. And I'll do B-roll on these so that you can see them a little bit better. I love playing with these. <laughs> All right. November 4th keeps coming up. November 4th, there's something big that goes on there. We've got quite a few. Okay. Again, I'm, I'm just going to kind of read them here because you're not going to be able to see them too well. I suppose. You know what I mean? All right. So we have awareness. <sighs> Again, you can't see it. It's like real tiny. <laughs> but awareness. Um, peace. Archangel Michael, truth, justice, clarity. Remember I said we're kind of, it's almost like, you know, again, that slicing open, that cracking open and then going, oh, I can't believe we've been doing that, <laughs> right? And we're going to be going in this direction. And Archangel Sandalfin. So Sandalfin is all about balancing your chakras, balancing the higher self with the physical self and if you want to see it as the spiritual self with the physical self, remaining grounded, remaining uh, peaceful, cleansed, in alignment, all of that. Yeah, I, I think this is definitely like a hang on for the ride kind of time. Please do not, please do not be an enabler for people who want to be manipulative with emotions. Yeah, the ones that claim I need more attention than anybody else. Be careful with that, please. Okay, uh, we do have protection here. Something comes into our awareness. It feels electrifying. It's very charged at first. But then because of the clarity that comes from it, we are able to come into some peace. And we're going to realize, you know, Peace doesn't come from like, uh, you know, bashing who you think your enemy is or um, pretending like it's not there or what have you. It's going, okay, I see it. I'm going to be real level about this. I'm going to remain balanced. Again, you can't see it, but here you go. <laughs> Archangel Sandalfin remaining very, very balanced and peaceful and still accepting the information that comes to us because it is giving us awareness it is giving us clarity even if it doesn't seem like it at first okay so we're going to leave it there i'm sending you all so much love and take care